we start off with a brand game, and as it just so happens, recently to the Quest store for the low, low, low price of uh, about $22 for YouTube. That and <laughs> know how I like to do it on the channel with my parents. First, what you got? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to Good morning. I have adjusted your alarm from the usual 2 p.m. time, as your monthly health examination is due day. The city issued Medibot is here now. Calculating optimal navigation path. Oh. Item damaged beyond repair. Grandmother's ashes marked for disposal. I, I... Greetings, citizen. It is time for your monthly health check. As a reminder, if the screening finds you to be deceased, this will be classed as a failure. Please log into your account in the usual manner. Give me some fist. User is now logged in. Reports show you are 27% weaker than last month. You will now be tested on your mobility. Please retrieve the glass bottle from over there. Glass bottle. This one does. Please place the bottle in my hand. Thank you. I will present you Clean with two images. Please select the one which most closely aligns with your emotional state. Don't worry, there is no wrong answer. Uh, wrong! Uh, Give my button a good poke. Oh, thank you. That wasn't part of the test. It's just been stuck for a while. We will now assess your vitality readings. Mm -hmm. Place your finger on the indicated spot and relax. Failure to relax will result in a severe electric shock. Uh-oh! The glass is malfunctioning again. It might explode. Quick! Smash it off my head before it's too late! Do not concern yourself about the cost of the destroyed clamp. It has already been deducted from your next month's food allocation. As such, what? Taco Tuesdays have been downgraded to Tuesdays. Please stamp oh. here to confirm the results of the test. Oh. 
the final portion of the examination is a simple observation test. Oh, I shall place this gamma ray scanotron amongst your clutter. Just pretend I'm not even here. Go about your normal day-to-day -day business as any organic would. All that exciting stuff. Blinking, aging, occasionally making yourself choke while drinking. After a physical examination, it is recommended to take a moment to relax and rejuvenate. I suggest opening the shutters and taking in the wonderful city sights. There is a priority news alert at your personal terminal. A priority news alert? Da -da. We haven't had one of those since Fortitude recalled the telescopic arm implants. You may have noticed wayward behavior from You're some of the robot the workforce. The gears driving our fine city. Well, to ensure maintenance is being completed and for everyone's safety, a series of checkpoints have been established around the city to manage robot travel. And these checkpoints will be manned by you. A small group of lucky humans will be chosen at random and given jobs. Real. Live. Jobs. The winners will each receive a call as soon as I find the button to end this broadcast. Let us all embrace this exciting time together in one civic-minded group hug. Thank you. Oh. Uh, hmm. Is. Incredible news. These will be the first new human jobs created since Dave not found these are big records. Now we return to our regular weekly panel discussion. What do humans do anyway? Could you imagine being called for a job? This is Pandemia, the CEO of Fortitude. You may recognize me from TV, specifically from just a few seconds yeah, ago. Is. As the very first draw in our job lottery, I thought I would notify you of your oh. win personally. Oh. 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 Congratulations! Oh. You are now yeah. part of a yeah. very exclusive group. Humans with a job. No. As an additional treat, no. later we'll be relocating you to a brand new apartment in the opposite. No. The important thing right now no. is the city needs saving. And you have in a the privilege no. to take on this duty. Your first shift begins today, so we are sending over a vehicle right now. No. Please step into the back of the room for your own safety. According to this, you were actually the first result on the list, making you the first human to get a new job in over two decades. It appears the maintenance protocol for this room has been activated. Please be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
your things. Let's go. Salvage is my start. So apparently, we like we'll re recall and probably on the later. Hey, newbie! I heard about you. <laughs> they seem to be. I assume it's a reference to you being first result in the lottery, <laughs> but it sets up certain expect. Oh, I'm Hallam. I'll be taking care of you. Now you're a fortitude employee. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is this microphone even working? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, wave yeah, if you can hear me. I can. Fantastic job. See you already living up to your name. <laughs> I really need to be sure as I can't be talking to myself. At least not twice in one day. Some of this old equipment for a long time now. Since the introduction of the automated core AI, a lot of these older job roles for humans are extremely rare. I've been one of the few remaining meat bags still overseeing things at Fortitude. And now I've been assigned to this new program, <laughs> codenamed Border Patrol. <laughs> and this gets us to why you are here. I must admit, it's all a bit of an intriguing mystery right now. Some robots have started ignoring their instructions. Until we work out what is going on, robot travel is being carefully controlled via these checkpoints. Operation of this checkpoint is going to be all down to you. <laughs> so, I'll run you through some of the tools you'll need to use. As a trainee Border Patrol agent, you are responsible for deciding which robots are allowed through and which must not be allowed to proceed. Every robot needs to present a valid travel pass. You must confirm all the details are correct. Here is your 3D printer, where you can print off figurine robots. <laughs> Try printing one off using the buttons on the printer now. Hmm. <laughs> Use the printer to print a robot figurine. The... Use the printer to print a robot figurine. Ah, when a robot comes to the booth, compare it to the printed figurine to make sure the declared class on a travel pass matches. <laughs> to help rejig your memory, your watch has been upgraded with tooltip technology so you can get info about things in your booth. Hold the button down on the watch. Aim it at the shift display to try it out. <laughs> Hold the button down on your watch for a short time to open tooltip mode. As you can see, tooltip give you a brief description of what things in the booth are used for. Your shift display can be used to check travel passes are in date and your current performance. <laughs> also, keep an eye on your timer. This can change from day to day. Uh, let's check out something else. Hold your watch button down again to close tooltip mode. Uh, finally, to process a robot, you need to step the travel pass with either a pass or fail step. <laughs> uh, over here are your booth steps. <laughs> uh, take one and use it on the travel pass. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... Satisfying, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> uh. Press the button. <sighs> to start your workday, pull the lever for the shutters. Here. <laughs> this starts the shit timer. So, 
Be ready. Fantastic! <laughs> Just press this next button to call a robot to the booth! Oh, great stuff! You seem to have the hang of things. I'll speak to you after your shift. Good luck! Everything is funny, as long as it's happening to somebody else. Thank I always wanted to be somebody, but now I realize I should have been lost. Ship's almost today. over. Keep your eye on the clock. I'm... 
Congratulations for making it through your first shift. <laughs> you probably got to see firsthand some of the uh, unusual robot behavior that has been going on. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty strange, isn't it? Hmm? One could even think these machines are developing a bit of a personality. Ah. We'll have to chat about that another time. I need to shoot off. And we just have a uh, couple of end of shift details to run through. <laughs> Fortitude decided it would be hmm, motivational to rank all the new booth workers. I'm not sure if I'm really supposed to say this, but <clears throat> it's my understanding. They're exploring an elimination process for people at the bottom. So, yeah. do your best. <laughs> be sure to make the most of this opportunity. Being employed is one of the few ways we humans have to earn privileges. For too many, mm -hmm. Salvation Heights is just being packed into apartments like beans in cans. And eating beans in cans like... Well, yeah, I, 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 I'm rambling. This is your rank screen. It shows the progress you've made towards getting your next promotion. <laughs> For successfully completing your first day, you have earned your first rank. Complete key tasks to progress towards higher ranks. These come with various employee benefits. Mm. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I must be off. I can't be late. I have tickets to the Rollerbot semi-final tonight. <laughs> oh, a taxi is waiting for you outside. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what they call TVs in the future. Welcome to your new apartment. To help you feel at home, we sent a salvage bot to recover your belongings. They may have got a few things mixed up, but at least it's all in one convenient pile. I was okay. hoping to give you a bit of a tour of the place, but with all the citywide what, what, disruptions, the I do need to run. Too. I've uploaded our welcome pack to your home drone, so they'll be able to run you through the facility. Oh, and before I forget, I've sent over your official Fortitude Smart Gloves that will make life a Get settled Smart. in, and I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again. I'll see you around. Hey, hey robot, give me the smart gloves. Make with the glovey. Good evening. A delivery drone has arrived with a package. You can collect your deliveries from the drop-off station. Which where, sir, robots? You can collect your delivery over here. Thank you. These are Fortitude compression containers. They can hold a lot more than you think. Just press the button to open. Oh, the button. It appears to be a glove blueprint for the 3D printer. You can add blueprints to the 3D printer to extend your choices. Just slot the cartridge in here. Cartridge slot. The, the new glove blueprint has now been unlocked. To change gloves, just select the item you want on the list and put your hands into the printing area. I've always been told hands in 3D printers. This is very not intuitive.
I'm confused now. It says stick my hands in the box. Right? That's what you said to do. Oh, I gotta get to the mute. Okay, I really don't like the teleport, but it might be the way to go on this game. So, am I printing? Printing these gloves. Or am I printing these gloves? I don't. I want to print something. Help me. So, on the next time in Border Bots VR, we are going to figure out how to work this glove printing machine. Hello? I want my gloves. So, so anytime. Anyway, in the next video, next time, we're going to figure out how to work this machine, and we're going to go ahead and protect our borders from robots. But until then, I'll see you. You'll see me. Uh, no, wait. This was a first impression video. Uh, quick side note. For being under $25, pretty good game. If you're a fan of uh, Papers, Please, if you're a fan of those puzzle-solving games where you're trying to decipher and pick out the little clues and the who done it kind of games. <laughs> this is definitely be yeah. Anybody who's anybody should check out. Remember, with the Meta Store's return policy and uh, money guarantee, if you don't like it with an X amount of time, or if you haven't played for X amount of hours, if you play for under a certain amount of hours, they do refund you your money with certain consideration and certain caveats. So, if you want to go ahead and try it out, that's BorderBot VR from the MetaQuest store. But until next time, I'll see you. You'll see me. CJ saying, see you later. Bye. Say bye. I got to figure out a name for you. Write down in the comments what you think her name should be. His name. It's name. I don't even know. I'm trying to be politically equal. Bye, guys.